Hello everyone, winter is the most suitable time of year for unconventional types of transport, overcoming obstacles from impassable snowdrifts to glacial crevasses. The first cargo passenger snowmobiles were produced in Canada and were intended for delivering mail to the most remote places. The Tucker Snowcat Corporation for operation in heavily snow-covered terrain and tundra created a whole family of snowmobile tracked transporters with a carrying capacity from 300 to 6,800 kilograms named Snowcat. This became the first presented line of snowmobiles, which marked the beginning of the modernization and development of future snowmobiles. In the Snowcat Snowmobile series, the frame together with the body was mounted on four special pontoons, equipped with individual semi-elliptical spring suspension. Both trolley pairs were linked to the transmission by carden drives and could swivel. Such a scheme of changing the direction of movement provided good maneuverability of the transporter when moving with small turning radii. The minimum turning radius was 8.5 meters. The own weight of the machine was 3,200 kilograms. The payload was 1,400 kilograms. The weight of the towed trailer was four tons. The power of the V-shaped eight-cylinder carburetor engine from Chrysler was 147.2 kilowatts. The gearbox was five-speed and mechanical with synchronizers on all gears, except for the first and reverse gears. The maximum speed without load was 24 kilometers per hour, and the maximum speed with full load on the hook was eight kilometers per hour. Fuel consumption averages, 81 liters per 100 kilometers. The climb that could be overcome was 35 degrees. The Snowbus snowmobile was built by the Canada company Bombardier. It was equipped with front skis, caterpillar tracks, and could accommodate 12 passengers. The front skis could be replaced with wheels. There are documented facts of Bombardier Snowbus being used as school buses, for mail delivery, as emergency vehicles, as well as for tours and cargo delivery in snowy areas. The unique screw rotor snowmobile Zill 29061 is part of the high passability search and rescue complex Bluebird, produced in the period from 1980 to 1,991 in a limited batch of only 20 units. The chief designer, Vitaly Andreevich Grasho, suggested replacing the wheels and tracks with two screws. The screw was an aluminum rod on which a spiral rib was wound. The screw resembled a drill or a meat grinder screw. This 4.8 meter rotary screw amphibian, weighing two tons with two gasoline engines of 77 horsepower, each could accelerate from 16 to 65 km per hour and was capable of moving in places where wheeled and even tracked all-terrain vehicles became absolutely powerless. One of the most significant drawbacks of the presented machine is the inevitable harm to the environment and soil after passing the route. Snowped is the brainchild of Michigan designer Joey Reuter. Joey, likely focusing on design, explores winter transport development possibilities, unlikely to bring surprises in functionality. To some extent, the design of the snowped resembles an enlarged hard drive or a box on skis, the body of which is made of aluminum and composite materials. In the development stage, this conceptual snowmobile has a width of 15 cm, a rear drive from Chrysler SnowRunner, and a 90 cubic gasoline engine. American engineers from Howe & Howe Technology, which specializes in experimental types of transport, created a hybrid of a racing car and a tank, which can be an all-terrain vehicle, a snowmobile, and easily drift on ice. The authors of the project are confident that their vehicle will become popular, especially after the luxury tank appeared in the movie Mad Max. The Ripsaw EV2 all-terrain vehicle is currently the fastest tracked vehicle for civilian purposes. It accelerates to a speed of 100 kmh in just 8-9 seconds over rough terrain. And on the highway, the acceleration is even faster. A nearly 4-ton machine is powered by a 6.6-liter diesel engine with 600 horsepower. The Ripsaw EV2 is capable of climbing slopes with a 75-degree incline. The vehicle was primarily designed to overcome obstacles specifically in rough terrain. The shape of the hull facilitates quick passage through thickets, snowdrifts, or sand dunes. For driving on the highway, Ripsaw's tracks are equipped with protective pads, which, however, wear out quite quickly. The Ripsaw EV2 is designed for a pilot and a passenger. There is a luggage compartment in the back of the vehicle, 
which can accommodate cargo or seated people. The luggage compartment is equipped with special securing straps to help secure the cargo. At the moment, the Ripsaw Eve 2 is available in two versions, with a hidden and a closed top. And the cost of such a tank is 270,000 euros. A global car manufacturer from the English city of Norfolk, widely known for producing sports supercars under the Lotus brand, decided to try its hand in a new direction and created the Aero Sunny bio-inspired ice. The snowmobile concept, named Ice Vehicle, was developed by Lotus engineers in 2008, specifically for the transantarctic expedition Moon Reagan. The vehicle, powered by a Bayerische Motoren Worka motorcycle engine, modified in the Lotus workshop for biofuel use and running on E85 bioethanol, could boost the 115 horsepower aero snowmobile speed to 135 kmh. The small weight of the sled at 360 kLu compact dimensions, 4.5 meters in length, and the same in width, in combination with a unique independent suspension, also developed by Lotus specialists, allowed the ice vehicle concept aero sled to jump over small cracks, often found in the ice of Antarctica. The snowmobile was also equipped with a radar that can recognize cracks in the ice hidden under the snow, GPS navigation, and three independent suspension struts. Looking like something between a snowmobile, a dog sled, and a miniature tank from World War I, this electric machine of Ivona Martel is a universal device, named MTT136 Short for My Truck Technology. This Franco-Canada all-terrain vehicle or fully electric pulling device is one of those machines that, according to its creators, has a wide range of applications. Depending on the chosen battery setup, the electric sled can cover from 45 to 220 kilometers. The MTT136 weighs roughly 127 k liu and can hit speeds of up to 40 kyh on flat terrain. According to the designer, the vehicle's recharge time ranges from 15 minutes to 8 hours depending on the installed battery. The long rectangular shape of the MTT136 resembles a scaled-down version of a World War I tank model. The chassis contains a battery, generator, and track drive system. The chassis can also serve as a portable generator. A hidden socket in the body provides the user with access to a 110-volt power source, allowing for the connection of, for example, power tools, lighting fixtures, and the charging of other devices. Martel displayed a dual-chassis all-terrain vehicle with a cargo tray. To save space when the machine is idle, the device handle folds. A unique snowmobile car was designed for the winter project of extreme racer Ken Block. Four tracks installed on the car instead of wheels allow it to easily pass even the most snow-covered places. The weight of each track is about 350 kg. During the upgrade, the factory Ford F-150 Raptor's 6.2-liter, naturally aspirated eight-cylinder engine, producing 411 horsepower, was improved. The final characteristics of the improved engine are not disclosed, but it is still possible to indirectly estimate the engine's power. The manufacturer states that the Raptor with the supercharger delivers 677 horsepower on the dynamometer stand. The price of a fully updated Raptor Trax is expected to surpass $100,000 at the very least. The Timber Sled Mountain Horse Kit consisting of a track and ski, allows you to turn almost any motorcycle into a snowmobile. The snowmobile suspension manufacturing company Timbersled, led by avid motorcyclist Alan Mangum, adapted the snowmobile suspension to the motorcycle, simultaneously increasing their company's offering in the market. As a result, a device was created that turns a regular motorcycle into a real snowmobile. This device doesn't transform every motorcycle into a snow bike. To use the timber sled track system, you need to use cross and enduro class motorcycles with an engine capacity of 450 cubic centimeters or more. There will also be additional benefit from installing a turbocharger turbine to increase the motorcycle's power. To transform a motorcycle into a snow bike, you need to remove both wheels, the rear swing arm, and the braking system, and replace them with a ski and track. Thus, the track replaces the motorcycle's swing arm and rear wheel, serving as the pushing mechanism, and it is driven by the motorcycle's own engine. 
fuel consumption when using a timber sled increases by approximately 60 to 80 percent depending on the model of the track module. The front wheel is replaced by a ski, which essentially takes on the responsibility of correcting the direction of movement. However, the main control of the motorcycle in deep snow, as usual, is carried out by tilting the body, and at low speeds or in dense snow, control is carried out by turning the ski. Currently, the cost of timber sled kits ranges from $5.3 to $6.5,000. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Which of the listed snowmobiles would you ride? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget, a like and subscription is the best way to thank the author for their work.